And welcome back to Ozarks Live. We hope you guys have your popcorn in hand because it's time for Kurt the Foam Guy. All right. Talk to us, Kurt. What are we focusing on today? Well, if you're a fan of documentaries, it's not hard to find something online right now with all the different sites. And every single one of the Oscar-nominated features, doc documentary features, are available now in some capacity. Two of them are on Netflix right now, American Factory and The Edge of Democracy. Uh, one is on Amazon Prime. It's called For Sama. One you'll, you'll have to buy, unfortunately. It's called The Cave. But I will say that this is a National Geographic uh, uh, film, so it's very possible with their connection with Disney Plus. Someday maybe Disney Plus will put this one up, and they're all very exciting documentaries. Uh, to definitely get you going. And the, the fifth nominee right now just came to Hulu. It is called Honeyland. It is about the last beekeeper in Europe. And, and as she is going oh, yeah. through her process, you're kind of seeing how she makes a mm -hmm. business of this, uh, kind of in the middle of nowhere and uh, in the Eastern Europe. And uh, a family moves in next door and realizes uh, we could do this too. Actually, there's numerous kids you'll see in a second. And uh, they are, uh, they have like four or five kids. And it, 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 they think that maybe if she can do it by herself, we could do it together. And of course, this kind of makes it more of a, a competition thing. And so now we're struggling for different uh, problems, you know, because there's uh, another, you know, game in the market, you know. We, uh, an immediate competitor. Com immediate mm. competitor. And that obviously brings in, here's the family, that obviously brings in uh, stress and um, issues with the other family. But it's so funny because she'll be yelling at this guy about issues or, or just telling him, hey, you need to be doing this. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, it, one of their kids is hanging out with her by the fireplace or something. And it's like, we're still friends, I guess. <laughs> so another really cool thing, which we've seen kind of over the last few years, is no narration. Um, and and there, there's no narrator, there's no um, interviews where we're sitting down talking to you. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, you're just seeing this happen. It's almost like a reality movie, a nonfiction movie, if you will. Yes. I, I was going to ask that because this almost seems like a story. They, they make but it into is a story. It, a document? I mean, it is, is it, a documentary. So it yeah. is factual. Yes, it is wow. factual. This ah. is actually happening right now. You see her go through the markets just like just like a reality show, a TV show. Yeah. You see her go to the market and, and ask for a price, and then she has to haggle with the guy to get the price she oh. wants. And, so what and put whatnot. you on this? Um, you know, what's interesting is this was uh, this was promoted at the Moxie, and it is gorgeous. If you watch it, I mean, it is something you almost want to, like, Get, to get your head out. into it, yeah. where you're like, I want to be in this place. You know, some beautiful, <laughs> beautiful landscapes in this uh -huh. location. Now, and you, you know, you, you, you mentioned no narration. Yeah. Does that make it a little tough to follow at times? Or? Sometimes. You know, it's a foreign film. It's foreign language okay. film. And, and so I will say, you know, there's, there's numerous languages in here, uh, Turkish and a couple different ones. And uh, you, you find yourself, you know, having to look down at the screen to make sure you're following it. Most of it is pretty well understood without that but there's a couple times when they're talking about the kids and you're like okay which kid are we talking about I don't know <laughs> which, which kids Mustafa from Mustafa compared to some other kid yeah. so but but it's definitely enjoyable it's that you know you, you sit there you're rooting for one and you're you're hoping that they'll survive different things like that so wow. it's almost like a whole movie yeah yeah so what else is streaming uh, one of my favorites of the year uh, Oscar nominated film Ford versus Ferrari ah, it's yes. uh, Matt Damon as Carol Shelby Christian Bale, Ken Miles as legendary 1960s race car drivers who go to Le Mans and, and take on Ferrari. And they're, they're hired by Henry Ford Jr. To, uh, to take on the impossible. No American car had ever won at this point. And they, they picked Carroll Shelby, which is Matt Damon's character, because he was the only American to ever win, but with a foreign car. Mm -hmm. And so another great performance by John Berthal as Lee Iacola. You might recognize that name, Lee Iacola Company. He was a big deal. Iacocca. Iacocca, excuse me. That's... Didn't say it right, yeah. <laughs> and Josh Lucas, uh, another big performance by Josh Lucas uh, as Leo Beep. He's like the number two under Henry, Henry Ford uh -huh. uh, Jr. Noah Jupe. That's a name you're going to hear for a while. Noah Jupe is this young kid. He was in Honey Boy. You actually, we'll probably talk about Honey Boy in a couple weeks. It's coming yeah. to Amazon Prime. Okay. And he is just an amazing actor. He plays Christian Bale's son. Mm -hmm. And he, he's, he's been up in there with all the youth actor awards, you know, young up and coming actor awards. Won a couple of them. A couple of them I, I kind of like, oh, I could have, should have won, but yeah. 
Okay, we've, we've got about 30 seconds okay. here. Yeah. Is this just for racing enthusiasts? I don't think so. You know, it's such a fun movie. I, I'm kind of disappointed Christian Bale didn't get nominated for anything other than mm -hmm. a Screen Actors Guild because he is so fun in this role. He feels like, I mean, it's set in the 1960s. He feels like he's a 1960s actor. Mm -hmm. And the, the films you see, like old Disney movies and stuff, he just makes it so fun to watch him race. Mm -hmm. and, and you don't have to follow it to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably going to, it's very likely a front runner for best editing. So it's definitely worth watching. I loved it, and I'm not a racer. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> I loved well, there it. we are. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Well, thank you.